You're listening to Feel Good Astrology with Louisa Tanner Munson. To request a reading with Louisa, go to www.feelgoodastrology.com. Hey, welcome back, Aries. This is your time of year, so happy birthday to you. So it's Louisa Tanner Munson from Feel Good Astrology with your five minute forecast for April. Let's see how I do, because <laughs> there's a lot going on. Now, um, one of the First things I really want to comment on um, are the, I, I want to just talk about the two biggest weeks, I guess, for you um, in this month ahead. The first one is the first week, in fact, the, the, the week of the 6th, um, where we've got the full moon in the sign of Libra is a pretty big day for you. Um, so we've got the sun in a conjunction with Chiron and with Jupiter. So you know, if you're having your birthday in the first week, you're likely to have quite um, an interesting year ahead. You know, it's likely to be one where you have a lot of um, time to review um, where you are in life, in particular, like the things that are holding you back, in particular, your insecurities um, and also your hopes and dreams and and how it all fits together. And then on the 6th, there's this huge full moon where it just feels really very much like um, you almost can't get there. Like there's always some emotional thing going on that's stopping you. So this is, um, I think a moment for you just to stop and think, okay, why am I finding this so hard? Why am I struggling with this? Why do I feel like I have to defend myself? Like, why do I feel, I guess the question is, um, do I have anything to be fearful of? And if so, like, where is it, where is it showing up and how do I deal with it? So there's a lot going on with that. Um, Week two seems quite um, calm by um, comparison. I would point out that on the 14th in particular, um, there is the feeling of really in like great intensity in terms of who you can trust with your friends and, and where you might need extra controls. It really does feel sometimes like, um, like your communications are, um, uh, uh, subliminally um, difficult. It feels like y- you have these conversations and then at the same time, you're feeling a little bit out of the conversations, like feeling like you're trying to in- intuit and interpret what's really going on. So the 14th just feels like a day when you're really sort of extra sensitive. And so I would possibly um, take much better care of myself around that time if I was in your shoes, Aries, and I would um, have a good night's sleep and plan some really easy things with people that you absolutely trust, people that you don't have any issues of trying to know where you stand. You know, any anything where you're not sure where you're standing right now, I think it's it's worth you taking a step away from. Now, as you're moving into week three, we've got the second new moon of this year, Um, and the last new moon of this year in the sign of Aries. Now, usually um, you have one new moon in each sign and occasionally you get a repeating sign. And in this year, it's it's repeating in the sign of Aries. Now it's happening right at the end of Aries and it's also a total solar eclipse. So like I said, there's a lot going on for you in this month ahead. Um, Now this new new moon is um, in a conjunction with Jupiter. So everything to do with new starts and this like new sense of identity, like this new image of who you are and the direction you're heading in, it takes extra special place in in, in your world right now. Um, and there is this really strong need to be really true to who you are. Now, this is also um, being challenged by old control issues. And now you might want to ask yourself, where do I feel controlled? And um, Pluto in this place of controlling is showing up um, around your contacts, around the in-laws and steps. It's also showing up in ex-colleagues and things like that. It it really feels like there's a level of undermining going on. Now, is this in your head or is this actually going on in real life? It it really doesn't matter. But the important thing to recognise is is this is your chance to reset your identity. And it it really feels like you had a chance um, around the 20th of March um, and now you're having a second bash at it. It's almost like you're relaunching who you are. And I think you can do it with a lot more um, groundedness 
um, having spent this extra month. I mean, it's been a really crazy month astrologically. You've done really well. Then on the 20th, um, the sun is going into the sign of Taurus. And, you know, you actually start to feel like some of the emphasis is taken off you. And it's actually a bit of a relief, you know. And then on the 21st, you've got Mercury going retrograde. Um, now, all I would say to you is get as much of your plans in place before the 20th. That's my biggest bit of advice for you because from the 21st onwards, it just feels like it's time to relax a little bit and relax into the end of the month. You know, don't take things so seriously. You're already on your new journey. If you found that helpful, then please do feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Also, if you'd like to have a reading at some point and you fancy a 20% discount, then please do check out the um, survey. Uh, There's a little link to it just underneath. Um, I've got a survey. It's just to find out how I can create more content that is really relevant to you who is watching. Um, And like I said, I'm I'm very happy to gift you a 20% discount. So anyway, lots of love. Have a fantastic April and see you next month. Bye for now. To request a reading with Louisa, go to www.feelgoodastrology.com.